It's a night of unity, of praying and standing together in the face of a common enemy. An enemy that, one church leader says, is determined to destroy Christianity. This cannot go on. This cannot continue. We must call this what it is, and we must do something about it. Thank you. Bishop David, leader of the Coptic Orthodox Christians in New York and New England, says that enough is enough. He leads the night of prayers for the 21 victims of ISIS's most recent atrocity, all Egyptian Coptic Christians beheaded in Libya for the sole reason of following Christ. Joined by over 30 representatives of many different Christian churches, including Cardinal Timothy Dolan of the New York Archdiocese, Bishop David calls on the United States and the United Nations to stand up and face ISIS, the Islamic extremist group that has slaughtered so many. We have witnessed complete silence from many uh, leaders for, for so long, and it's about time that the leaders speak up and come together and understand the, this imminent threat that is right close to us. It's, 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 it's imminent and it's coming here unless we sit together and the leaders discuss and call, call it by its name. We will never move forward because these terrorist groups want to take us backwards, but we need to go forward. The Coptic Orthodox Church of Archangel Michael and St. Mina on Staten Island is packed. I came here like my colleagues. Local government representatives like Staten Island District Attorney Daniel Donovan and council members Vincent Ignacio and Vincent Gentili echo Bishop David's call to action. It is the people, however, who speak with passion. I find it troubling that the Egyptian government and the Jordanian government, Islamic governments under Sharia law, are taking a step to fighting ISIS, while the American government is kind of just laying back and refuses to even call them Christian martyrs. They said Egyptian citizens, which is really troubling. We should go after these people, you know, because these people, they are close, they are here also, you know, they can be anywhere. So you have to stand, you know, close because, you know, don't forget 9-11. Wake up. ISIS is here in America. This is America is next. Wake up. Please wake up. Cardinal Dolan points out the good coming out of such evil, unity. Though Christians have been divided for centuries, this common enemy is bringing them together in faith. Pope Francis telephoned the leader of the Coptic Orthodox Church, Pope Tawadros II, after the slaughter to offer his sympathy. Pope Francis has also repeatedly prayed for our 21 brother cops. We are all one body. When one part of the body suffers, we all suffer. So with our Coptic Orthodox brothers and sisters, they are suffering, that means we suffer. Martyrdom brings us all together because we, we share the blood of the martyrs or the seeds of faith. And when it comes to tragedies like this, we forget about any differences. We just look at how close we are and how we suffer together and how we should be together despite of anything. Bishop David points out that even as these men were killed, the word Jesus was on their lips. He says they should serve as an example to all Christians, faithful to Jesus unto death. For Currents from Staten Island, I'm Katie Breidenbaugh.